Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Day two of 20 days. Maybe we'll make it 25 days. I don't know. Maybe. We're going to have some fun. And we're just using bits and bobs and whatever we've got. I just grabbed um, some things and I thought I saw, I was, I was, did a deep dive into Pinterest last night, y'all. And I was like, what would be fun? What do we have just sitting around? And, um, you know, just. That would be cute. I saw some really cute pics. That would be fun. And I thought I had um, some, um, <clears throat> I thought I had some molds that were the hearts and stuff, but I couldn't find them. I may have, you know, given some away and not remembered it. And so um, that's where I am. But I grabbed some Monaghan papers and we're just going to do a little bit of a play and see what we can come up with. Um, and um, I thought I would show you some ideas. And so I'm, I do have a plan. I think tomorrow we're gonna do like a bunting. So I'm working on things that you can tuck into a plant. So the picks would be like you could stick into a plant and have a cute little Valentine, either one, or you could do a trio, do a theme. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I just ate, so I got food in my teeth. I wanted to share a little booklet that I made. I think I made it last year. I'm gonna have food right here. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. If you join, if you're watching, please say hello. Hi, Marcia. Thank you, sweetie. Don't get in trouble. Um, and so I thought I'd just grab some stuff that I had and I thought, let's just do some easy play, see what we can come up with. Some pinks and reds and just different stuff. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. All right. Um, so thank you for joining me. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's so lovely to be back. And I have so neglected y'all. And I apologize. I, I'm so sorry. I am pulling it together. I just got two more boxes of new stuff coming in. Um, and I've got some earrings on today to match my Star Wars t-shirt. So those are up on the website now. The pictures are not, not all matching, but they will be. So if you see something you're curious about, just message me. Um, I will I'm working on that. Um, I've got the towels I've got to get on the website. Good morning, Charlotte. How are you doing, sweet pea? Um, I have, I, we've got these awesome slippers. They have one set has bows on them. Good morning, Carol. And one has, one is called Snoozies. And the reason I have these is I found these in where did I go this summer? Gettysburg with my family. Um, I have, um, and they're like slippers that you take with you. So they fold up in a little bag and you can, you can use them at home, but they also travel really easily. And I thought, oh, you know, and you can wash them. So it's not like it's a hard slipper or something. You know, the other ones, the, the and the um, ones with bows are super cute. Like if you have a girl in college and they're getting ready to leave for, school or they're going to graduate. I was trying to think of graduation gifts coming up, birthday gifts, that kind of thing. So, and I'm so far removed from college and girls because I have bandits. Yeah. That's what it kept saying. It was like, I love your name. Where'd your name come from? It's like, well, I'm vintage and I got two boys. Okay. I made this little journal. I'm going to share it with you real fast. We might even use some of the bits out of it to decorate some of our pieces with because I don't have all my bits and pieces in the same place. I'm still got a bunch at home and talk about it. Okay. anyway, um, I got a bunch of new stuff. Got a big new piece um, for display. I got to paint, clean and paint and get set up and move and shift it. All that fun stuff. So, okay, let's get to playing. Let's look at, and also here's the heart from last night. Isn't that kind of cute? I kind of like it. We'll see. Um, all right, so this is, I did this journal. I'm gonna push you closer too, because I can. I've looked, I've got some doilies, and these are like Dollar Tree doilies, so don't think I'm all fancy. And I'm having a massive hot flash. Woo, I'm gonna turn the heat down. Okay, I made this, I think, last year. And it's just one of those really easy little um, booklets out of paper. You know, it's just out of, I've shown you all how to make this a hundred times. If you want a tutorial, let me know. Um, so this is pockets. It's just super cute. And I just have like bits of paper in here. And this could be a bookmark. Isn't that cute? I think that's a napkin. 
Here's a cute little envelope. Look how cute that is. Just a little card. And I mean, I just used, you know, bits of paper here. And I forgot to grab my scrap paper bin, which would be fun. So this is just a little envelope with bits, paper bits. I don't think there's anything in it. But wouldn't this be cute if you, I mean, I get these envelopes on Amazon. Put a gift card in it. How cute would that be? And this is a, what is this for? Do I have this? Do I have I done anything with this? Oh, yeah, this is, there's a pocket here. I'm like, what did I do? This has a pocket, this has a pocket, and this has a pocket. So, this is, oh, this is a tuck, and is this a tuck and a pocket? No, this is just a tuck. This is a tuck, and these two are pockets. Whew. Bless it. I need a little assist. Okay, and you fold it back here, and then here's another little, just the back is covered. This is, I glued onto the back of this, and there's a tuck, and these are cute, which maybe we're gonna play with these. <laughs> and that's the front. And honestly, y'all, that's just paper and punches. And this is just some fabric that I had. So, isn't that kind of crazy? And just, you know, just pick the same colors and boom, there you go. I think this would be a super cute little Valentine's gift. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But I love paper and everything. So, there you go. Okay, I pre-painted some hearts this if you can tell they kind of go the same way so i don't want to have matchy matchy i'm not a matchy matchy kind of girl so we if we're going to do a set we've got some options for these we could i've got this paper to decoupage y'all remember my wrapping paper that i've had forever on this booklet you went to tour on this marcia I'll probably have it out there a hundred different ways, but I can do a new one. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I have this paper that we could decoupage on, which is super cute, love it. I then have, so there's several ways we can go, and I'm just not sure. This is my Royce, and I think I'm out. This is my piece, I need to order more. I hope it's still in stock. I love this. This is like, um, and I could. we could totally just choose like, we could do flowers there. Oh, this is a full sheet. Oh, yay. Okay, I can do that for you, ma'am. We could do, we could do like all trees. This seems, this is a little big. So I think we're gonna save this for a bigger project because it's got some, I don't wanna chop it up and ruin it. Also grab this, which is my friend Carmen's paper. And I was like, we could totally focus and decoupage um, pieces of the reds and pinks. So we have that here here and layer that up and do kind of a collaging idea. So I think what we're gonna start with is just use this paper because it's gonna work the best. And then I also was thinking it might be fun to back these with some, you know, either this or take, these are coffee, these are cupcake things that I dyed and we could totally go in and we could fold them up and squish them up so they're kind of fluted and we could glue them all the way around maybe and then put it and then put this right there and just do some layering i don't know let's let's decoupage first and then we'll go who knows and have you seen how they make a cute envelope out of these so cute we need to work on that i need to figure that out so i'm just because we oh, scissors hang on guys sorry scissors gone for one week and I don't know how, I don't know how to use I've got I, I've been gone for I'm going to go ahead and do this and do this I've been gone for I just was gone for a week and I already I got this on my trip it's a swig never had one before got it on sale keeps it cold for 24 hours okay we're just I'm not even gonna worry about where this goes I painted it white so it would show up so I'm just going to take, this is just a glue stick. I don't know how much this glue is on it, but I'm just doing a quick, if I ever wanna do a quick decoupage. Now this is like an extra sticky glue stick. It's a new one that they've come out with that sticks to more surfaces, whatever it is. And it's still acid free, I think. 
So I'm just going to plop that down like that. And I want it to go this way. I'm gonna do the same thing and just put them all on here. And let's get some cute um, paper on here, some pretty, I don't have very much. I've almost sold out of this wrapping paper, so whatever I have left is for me and any kind of classes I might do. I'm not even, I don't even know where it's going to lie. I'm going to turn it over. You could use a brayer to help with this, you know. You could totally use your brayer. I'm just gonna make sure I get it on there good and maybe smear the glue, I don't know. And it's it's good enough. I'm not I'm not really concerning myself to make it perfect. Imagine that. I probably should have done my edges better. I know better. Let's do edges. There we go. I know better. You should always focus on the edges when you're decoupaging. But this is kind of this is an easy little you know. We'll let it go, see what happens. And, and if you notice, the wrinkles are coming right out, so that's kind of fun. What shape, this one goes this way. This one is going opposite. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way. And just glue it down. I think sometimes we, we get really tied down and doing it just perfectly you know, using the right glue and using the right, um, and honestly, if you're just, use what you got, guys. I mean, decoupage medium is great, but if you're just wanting to um, do a quick little craft, don't sweat it, don't sweat the glue. Just pull out a glue stick and use it. I promise it'll be fine. It'll totally be fine. And in honor of my dear friend Dawn, who is um, who went to market with me, I'm going to save all the bits of um, the paper around it and save it for journaling because that's a, those are good, you know. So we're just gonna let it dry a little bit, and then we will probably sand it. We could burn it once it's dry. That's good. We just want to dry a bit. I'm just gonna trim it up as best I can. I'm gonna try to do big chunks so I can keep the paper. We may use that in something later in this project. Who knows, why waste it? I don't even know how it came out. I don't know what seams I have. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried. I just wanted to get it on there, get it smooth, because we're gonna put stuff on top of it and really who's gonna see it? Who's gonna notice? It's just gonna be sticking down in a plant to give us a little bit, it's a quick and easy little um, decoration for Valentine's. And just, you know, it's like, you know, if you wanna do what you can, I used to do all the holidays and I do nothing now except in the shop. And I am determined to get my house clean. If anybody wants to help, let me know at your own risk. I'm just gonna say that. You come at your own risk. That's what I'm gonna say. It ain't, it's not good. And last night I was just trying to clean up dog hair. Lordy day, y'all. She is perfection. Perfection. She is perfection, but man, is she a hot mess. Hot mess, totally. So, now if I were doing a big piece and like a full sheet, I'm gonna use a decoupage medium, and I have a class for that that's coming up next week. So if you're interested, it is on the website. It is decoupage 101. It's gonna be super cute. Oh, hi, Nancy. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's let that dry for just a smidge. And let's put the lid on our, well, this one's dead anyway. All right, so then I wanna show you real quick, why do we paint it white? And you can ask Royce, but you get, it makes it yellow underneath. So whenever you paint it white, okay, so here's this, and then this one's white. So this is gonna be just like a little doohickey that you can hang, or I don't know, 
I don't even know what we're gonna start with. I mean, we could probably start with a doily right on top of it like that and just wrap it around. We'll punch the holes in it, holes in it, or maybe we'll do a round one. I have one that's painted. I painted this with paint, it's pale pink. That's kind of cute. We could just decoupage it on there. I like the brush strokes. Let's do that. And then we'll just trim it. But if we decoupage, we gotta, we gotta wait again. Let's use um, Fabrifix on this one. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Miss Carmen. How are you doing? You rotten thing, you. I don't think I have any more of those flowers. I'm gonna have to refund you. I don't know how they were still on the website. Sorry, but I do have the journals. And I will get those out. I'm just going to use this Fabrifix, Fabri-Tac, 3-in-1. I truly think it's all the same. I don't use this a lot for, I don't use this a lot for um, decoupage because A, it dries super fast and it's not made for decoupage. But I like it because I can put it on here and it'll be dry in no time. No time. And we're just going to Trim it to fit the piece. And then if this is we're we're just we're just making a background. That's all we're gonna do. Let's just make a cute little background for I don't know what. There we go. Now I need my sanding block or my files or something. I've been using nail files, which has been awesome. them better because I can get them in the corners. I've been liking these really well. I just get them at, I think, Dollar Tree. And I can just, doesn't that sound amazing to your ears? You're welcome. ASMR. And uh, I like it because I can get right up in the corner better than a sanding block. And for classes, I feel like it's great. So, if you're always looking for a tool for a class, there you go. Thank you, Miss Lee. Yes, yeah, so if you are interested in the decoupage class, it's local. Sorry, I need to do, if, if people are interested in virtual ones, I will get them on the calendar. So it's not perfectly stuck. If you see there's a little pucker on there, but you know what, I don't really care. I am not, um, and I'm just, just tearing it off, but just don't even, I'm just wanting it off. I don't want it perfect. And you can, you can make this and you could tuck this into like a tear tray thing if you wanted. You could hang it on a doorknob, which would be super cute. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna ignore that. So that gives us a nice, pretty, pinky, blushy background, which I love. Um, and then we're just going to maybe just collage some stuff. I, this is a red box, but I don't know if it's all red. I don't know what's, I think this is just a box of stuff. Which, ooh, there we go, let's put, that's, that's pink, let's see. It was just, it was just some bobs, you know? That's a cute little butterfly. I mean, that's kind of, not really valentine -y, is it? Look at that red, that's pretty. What is this? Oh, I have like a whole thing with love things and I, oh, that's all red. So let's leave that out There's some rabbits. That would be cute. Oh, here's some here's some roses. That might be fun Let's see cut those out real fast real fast. Mm-hmm. Okay, man. That was a good little find Amen to that. So um, I'm just gonna of course, I choose the smallest one, and I'm not even, I'm doing this without my glasses. What is up, y'all? I'm doing this whole crafting thing without my glasses. What's up with that? I'm not really going to worry about how it looks. You could also do transfers on this. I didn't grab my roses, but, you know, I like these because they're small, but you could use a transfer. Your transfer scraps are great for layering. And, guys, um, yeah, I have... Okay, that's upstairs. Ah. I have all kinds of transfers. We're gonna be using some of those. Look at that, super fast. Have I told you about the time when I was teaching kindergarten? My kids were like, you are such a good cutterer. 
Hi, Donna. Hello. Guys, tell me what you're working on. If you're new, tell me where you're from. If you're new, please go follow on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. I have a funny TikTok out there if you want to go see it. It's of me falling like four years ago. Lee, is that what we thought? I think it's from 20... Twenty twenty? No, twenty twenty one. So it's three years ago. Because I had the I had the big shop at Green Street. Yep. So yeah. Funny. And um so I had my kindergarten. It's like you're so good at cutting. I was like, oh, okay, well I've had lots of practice because I'm old. I thought I was old. I mean literally I was in my twenties, so that's hilarious. But I'd had lots of practice, and that's what I always tell them. You just got to practice. And, guys, that's how it is with all the IOD projects. That's how it is with a painting technique. You have to practice. You have to play and practice, and that's all you got to do. Okay, so we're going to stick with these two. We might cut this one out. I don't know, but that went pretty fast. Wasn't that fun watching me cut, it, cut things out? Just if we, if we just took these two things right here and we put, like, a the big rows here, and the little rose there. How cute would that be? Boom. But we're not going to leave it at that. I'm going to grab my little inks. Let's see. We're not going to just leave it at that. But we need some, like we need something that's going to say like love on there or something. This, the white is showing, so I'm just going to go in and because this looks kind of vintage to me anyway. So, um, guys, if you want to share anything, would be great. I just keep trying to build my page. I'm back to the numbers I was before I got hacked two years ago, almost. Oh, hilarious. Don't open any links. Don't send me a link. Don't open any links. I'm not doing any of that at all. I feel like we need three. So, let's... It's always odd. Odd always looks so much better. And I feel like we need like an odd number. Now, it looks like I'm cutting these fast, but guys, I'm barely cutting these out right. I just want you to know, I am just, you know, as I've moved my paper, if you, it's just, if you're, if you try to cut out every little it's because it's got all kinds of little marks on the leaves that are actually like roses. I don't have time for that. So I'm just trying to get kind of close, kind of close, you know. It is not at all. And I leave, I, I mean, I cut a lot of the pretty stuff off. And see all that white? That's why we go in with this thing. And it just knocks off any white that we left. It's all about smoke and mirrors, guys. Smoke and mirrors to make it look like it's something it's not. So, look how cute that is. We could do this right here. We could do three down here. Just all gommed up. We could take one of these little girls. How cute is she? Chasing the, um, we could cut her out and around her. Let's just do that, Beth. Let's just do that. I'm not gonna cut her. I'll even like, I even like that to my Valentine, which is cute. We need some um, verbiage, which would be awesome. I'm just going to kind of cut around this, but not right up close to it. It's just going to be, if I hold my tongue just right. Boom. Like she's even just a closure on there like that. It's cute, I think. Let's make her some browns. And let's just do that on the thing too as well. We're just gonna we're just gonna antique everything, and that way it's all gonna blend together. And we'll get a vintagey looking sorry silk. I will totally clean this up a little better. And look how cute that is. Like we could do. We could have this here and we could have her, we could have her like underneath, have the roses underneath her or have her catching this rose. Wouldn't that be fun? Like she's trying to catch the rose. That's kind of cute. I don't know. Heidi, hello, how are you? Thank you for joining me. 
Thank you so much. We are just playing with bits and bobs and whatever we have. We're letting these dry because I used a glue stick. We may have to get the heat gun out, help that out a bit. I could always, I have the, all of these are just um, from a kit that I did probably two years ago. And, um, oh, there's a little butterfly. We could totally add a butterfly. And so these are, would be good. We could just go in and layer some, you know, different, let's see what looks good together and see what we can come up with. I like the red. I think this we're gonna save for this project. But I like this and this and maybe that, like that with it. And what, you, what we can do is we can just tear some bits just to give us a little bit of block of color, like there and maybe just do a little bit of an overlay, a little bit like that. And then maybe do this. Oh, good. Well, Heidi, let's grab those and use them. So maybe we do this and then we do this and then we do this. And then this even has like a water stain, which I don't mind. Can y'all see that right there? See that edge? I kind of like it. And we kind of, maybe we'll tear, and then we can put her like right there in the middle of it so she's supposed to be contrasted. And then add some roses here, like here, and one like right, like right up here. I don't know, I'm just playing. We could cut out one of these little butterflies for her to catch, like that maybe, and do that. How goofy does that look? It's not terrible. I don't know if it's great, but it's not terrible. Let's just go ahead and put these down. I'm just gonna tear, I'm gonna line them up. And I wanna tear the straight edges. What time is it? I have to open at 11. Do not let, don't let, don't let me forget I actually have a shop that I have to open, please, okay? Because <laughs> even though I have a hot mess, I am still open, guys. We're still open for business. You just have to walk around all the stuff we're working on. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna keep the straight edge to be here, but you know, we'll keep this one straight and maybe we'll ruffle, maybe we'll make them all just, a, let's see if we can tear them all just a little bit. No, I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna lose the length of them. I don't want, but if we tear them all, it'll look better. What is it about torn mulberry paper that's just yummy all the way around? There we go, and we'll just have it kind of, that didn't get torn. We'll just have it kind of roll out like that. It's kind of weird, I know. Yeah, let's just see. That's the one that we've used. Let's just, let's just see. Worst comes to worst, I've lost nothing. It's just bits and bobs, and I'm just playing. So give yourself the luxury, and the t give yourself the permission to try. And if it's kind of, if it doesn't work out, Big whoop, you know? Just, I love that piece right there. I hate to cover that up, but I'm going to. Because we're doing a kind of a graduation out there. Maybe we'll do, maybe we we'll, won't cover that up. Maybe we'll do that. Like that. I, oh, I caught the butterfly. Because I love that little bits right there. May not show with little girl. We could have her like this, like this. She's chasing like that. I love that little red bits right there. I think that's fun. And maybe we put the flowers like, no, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to just put her right here and we're gonna just have to lose that bit. So it should have been out here. Okay, like that. Maybe let's just do her in the center and then we can glue her down once we decide where we want the flowers to go. Hey, Virginia, how are you doing, sweet pea? Oh. There we go. So I didn't do the bottom so we can tuck these roses wherever we'd like to, you know? If we wanna do that, and just do one like right here, break up that, and then do this little one here. Does that look goofy? I don't know, maybe, but eh. We'll be gonna, you know, I'm not really concerned about it. Let's do that, let's commit, and then we can always kind of, 
we could always change it. We could just, you know, we could splatter something over it and kind of hide it. And I'm just gonna loop that over like that. We'll just, let's just see. It's, I mean, obviously it's, you know, it's a little different, but that's okay. I don't mind different. Do y'all mind different? It's a little weird. I, I'm, I'm getting, but it's what I have, so we're gonna use it. It's like she's running on roses. Doesn't really make sense, but why? when does anything ever make sense? Okay, and then we could do a cute little butterfly. And where was the paper that says to my Valentine? Did I toss that somewhere? Maybe, could have totally done it, not meant to. It was on there. I thought that was cute. Oh, here we go. Which might be fun. Oh, she's trying to catch. So we're gonna, okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna tear this. And then I'm gonna back it with, I'm also gonna do the edges. Oh, you got questions? Okay. Well, I'm open, Sweet Pea. It's busy, busy around here, but I can talk and work at the same time. Okay, what if I took this red right here? Oh, that even kind of mirrors that, doesn't it? And we put it to where she's chasing and to catch to my Valentine. We kind of reuse it. Break it apart and use it. Could have, I should have probably, I should have probably made her, wrapped her up with like the scissors. I didn't do that. I'm so out of practice. But can y'all see that? Do I need to get this closer? Let's go solo. I'm gonna get you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Yep. Does it look like a bit of a boondoggle? I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a boondoggle. I think we need that space right there. And I feel like we need a bit of a wash over all the, um, the darker pieces. Maybe like a little bit of a whitewash or something. What are y'all thinking? Maybe, 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 or a creamy wash. Ooh, 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 let me get my, let's do that. Let's get crinoline and let's do a little wash. And maybe creamify the stuff around it. I'm thinking, I mean, we're talking. Okay, I've got my crinoline paint because it's creamy and because the background on her is creamy. Let's just see if we can't. I'm also gonna get my heat gun so we can dry it really fast and see what it looks like. I don't wanna cover up everything, I just want to kind of mute it out. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? and kind of bridge the gap of those. I'm just, I'm just mixing, I put water on there. I mean, I'm just kind of, oh, wait. And let me get a paper towel. I'll eventually get organized. By the end of this 20 days, y'all, I'm gonna be golden, golden. So I just want to kind of go on and mute this, you know, but then go in, oh Lord, that was ridiculous. But then tap it out, kind of rub it off. I feel like that maybe we need that. To kind of, you know, bridge the gaps, the darkness. Just cause we brought this little girl on board. So we weren't committed to that. And then you can just tap on it. We could even add some water on here if we wanted to and try to pull some more of that paint back. But I feel like maybe that kind of bridges her to the piece. I wasn't, you know, I was just, I'm just playing, guys, so I don't know what I'm doing. Does that make any sense how we're kind of, and maybe we'll give her just a little bit of a wash. 
Just a little bit of a wash. That's, that's better, isn't it? Does that make sense what I'm doing, what I'm saying at all to anybody? I'm just trying to, well, I didn't mean to do that, that's for sure. That's a little too much. We're not even gonna see that rose that I cut out. I feel like that's pretty dark. And that is not what we're working on. It's not what we're working towards. <clears throat> oh, let's set that aside before I... That's a little better, isn't it? I feel like that helps a little bit. Let's glue this down. Let's glue her down in areas. She needs to be glued down. <clears throat> and then we could like, we need to have her catching something, but I've got these really, I brought these cute 3D Flowers, so maybe we're gonna have her chasing like and then I have these little buttons that we could layer on top maybe let me show them to you all I don't know where maybe I got these at Dollar Tree or maybe no these came from Michaels I'm, I don't remember I don't know oh y'all can't see me this these are from Timu so let me show you what they look like they're little I just thought they were so cool if I get stuff from Timu, I will tell you it is from Timu. They're like buttons. Aren't those fun? And I was thinking we could even layer them like that on top. You know, do some. And then she could be catching some little flowers, maybe. I don't know. Something. Something, maybe. We'll put a sparkly one on there. And we'll just glue those to the thing. And it gives us a cute little... Um, that one has some sparkles. Does this make sense at all what I'm doing? Maybe, kind of, sort of, maybe? I don't know. I need to put these in a little container, I feel like, because they're not gonna last in that envelope. So I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use the darker ones. And we could just put them in a cluster, you know? And then she's trying to catch them and then we'll put like a little, I don't know, let's just try, oops, let's just try it and see. Maybe, I don't know. I think her yellow's throwing me, but we're, we're here, we're committed. We're pigs at a pig rest, so I say we go. <clears throat> I'm going to put a little glue here. This would probably be good for like E6000, E which, or hot glue, which I don't have either. So I'm just gonna use what I got. It probably is not gonna work. I may have to use some super glue or something. We'll see. I don't know. But we'll put them on here and see if it looks like, if it's anything decent. I don't know. Or we may be tossing this. Who knows? But I thought maybe a layering of the, this is, these are like buttons. I've got to find something really cute to do with these. And we've got to get to the hearts. My goodness. We're going to at least shave the hearts back and talk about what we can do. Clearly, I know their buttons are so cute, aren't they? So she's chasing those. I'm not super sure it may be tossed. Let's put it aside. Not real happy with that. So let's just at least, this is not even dry, but we're going to um, just, I'm just going to sand around this and rip that off. This is gonna be really cute. And all we're gonna do is use hot glue to stick a skewer. And these came from Dollar Tree. I think my hearts came from Dollar Tree. And it's got, we're just gonna put a big blob of glue on the back. Come on there, friend. I'm gonna pull y'all back a bit because that's way too close. It's way too close. There we go. So, and it's just a skewer, a simple skewer. And I'm just going to 
put a massive thing of hot glue on there. Hi, Renee. And then, um, I don't know what we're going to do with these. Hmm. I feel very defeated from the other one. Not digging it. I'm just not digging it. So there, I'm feeling very defeated. I've got to get my chops back. My, my, I've lost my chops. Ah, oh, but the concept is good. So take the concept, guys, and go with it. It's, um, there we go. Sorry about that thumb. I'm trapped with my, um, with my, I love how I look over my glasses to see things. <laughs> yes. Anyway, that is not cute at all. I'm so not happy with it. My heart is hurting, but you know, I don't have everything available, so I'm going to give myself a little grace. And let's see what we can do with these. If we want to put something on the back, which would be cute. And then you could just put, I think what would be fun is just to do either an XO, like XOXO on one. And then you could do like some love. We could use and do the molds. Um, I will cast some of those and paint them gold. We'll do that tomorrow. How about that? Let's do the outside today. I'll do the back side of it. And then we'll finish these tomorrow. And then we'll talk about a bunting, an easy bunting. I've got a great idea for a super easy bunting that's cute and fast. And yes, it's a nail file, guys, so just don't judge, okay? And yeah, there's scraps, and I should be able to clear that off, but I don't. So we could totally just, if we just did that, I mean, that gives it a whole new kind of zhuzh, don't you think? Just adding that to the back side of it, and then you would have it sticking up like that, which I think is totally fun. We could leave it simple. That needs to be trimmed. That needs to be trimmed. Well, these are Dollar Tree, so what do I expect? They just have like little pieces that aren't, but that's okay. I got them for pennies, so I don't mind to cut that off. Do that, leave it as is, or do we want to try and do some zhuzhin with like um, a white one. I think that, and then kind of fold it and make it kind of a fan even. I don't know, can you, you know, where you kind of do this and we do like extra, like right there. I mean, I think that's cute. Like honestly, I think more is more is more. Well, thank you, Nancy. I like, I kind of like the white right there. And then we could do another one could be down here and we could just do, you know, just do a little tuck like that all the way around. I kind of like that. I like that. I, need to, I like it. I like it. I like that. So are we okay with that? Is this a go? Can we do that? Let's kind of. Can we, can we kind of, let's fuss it up a bit and just see if that helps any. You know, I want it to be kind of non-perfect. It's just laying way too flat and perfect, perfect for me, you know? I'm not a, here, sorry, I'm off camera. I'm off camera. I just was like, can we, you know, I just want to mess it up. I don't want it to be all perfect. You know, I want it to be kind of higgity-piggity, like I just ripped it. Like that. <laughs> I don't want it to be perfect like that. Now see, I like that better. A little bit of. <coughs> All right, let's do that. Let's do that. So we're just going to. Let's let's just put some solid glue here. We're just going to use our E6000. Come on, spit out, girl. Spit out for me, okay? With all that webbing and stuff, you know. And then I'll go back in and I'll add this and then I'm gonna pick this up and put like this, like this. Is that working? Yeah, I like it. There we go. And then we'll go in and we're gonna to have to glue like this in here, shoot some glue in there and shoot some glue around it where it's solid. That's the only bad thing about doilies is they're not solid. <laughs> yeah. 
clearly because they're a dolly bit. And we'll just put some glue. So we'll do them like that. And then we'll have, how cute is that? And then we'll put like um, a gold XOXO or we could just do, we could do one that has, you could even put, we could put something just, you know, we could put a solid just to kind of hold it all on there. Maybe I'll do that. And then the skewer. And so the back side's not going to be so pretty, but we don't want to see the back side. It's all about the front side. Maybe we're going to either dye this. I think we should stain this brown, maybe, or white. I don't know. Because if it's going into a plant, we want it to disappear. We want, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Think about that, guys. If we want to stain this or paint this. Or just, you know. Honestly, I could just do this right here. It's easy to paint it, but it, you can't tell with that. It's gonna to have to be white or stain. But I do like that. So we're gonna do those three. We'll do one at the bottom and I'll put it all the way around different, you know? So, fun. Love that we have that. I will finish these the same way, just the same way tomorrow. So you don't hear me go shh, shh, shh. And then we will work on the front. And I will go ahead probably, I will, I'll, do some, I'll do some castings and then we'll do some tomorrow if I have enough. If I don't, I'll have to go get some. Um, so, and I'm looking to buy, to sell the resin. So I'm trying to find a good resource for that. <sighs> yeah, more, more, more to do. Always more to do. Yeah, so if you're in the neighborhood, please come see me. I'm in Central Kentucky. I am about 40 minutes from Louisville and about 15 from Lexington. And I'm on Main Street in Versailles. And it's a fun little creative space. And we have a lot going on. Um, I've, got a, I've got a new big piece that I've got to paint because it's ugly, but it's got great storage. And I just had to embrace it because I've got so much product coming. I have, had, I have to find a place to put it. So lots of things going on lots of things need to be tagged all kinds of jewelry all kinds of just stuff coming so just keep watching the website because i'll keep adding it and everything that i have that i have i will i can ship or i can sell here so it's all over the place or come see me i would love for you to come see me that would be so fun and um if you're close for the galentines please come this february 11th if you're close for a ladies night out which is february 1st I think I'll double check on that, which would be fun, which is my dad's birthday, February 1st. He would be, wait, he'd be 99. <gasps> wow, that's, yes, because he's born in 25. He would be 99. How do I have a parent that would be 99? I have a parent who was 42 when I was born. Do the math. And um, so, yeah, my mom would be, um, 94 on the 20th, February 20th. February was their birthday, so we always had heart cakes for our birthdays then. Um, for my dad. I don't remember us doing anything for my mom. What's up with that? Okay, friends, so lovely to be with you. I'll be back tomorrow at 10. Yes, February 1st, 5 to 8. Thank you, Dawn. Is Ladies Night Out? And that's going to be so fun. We're going to have, um, you can come, you can make stuff. We have free gifts for Galentine's. Guys, just if you're not if you're not following us, please watch us. If you're not getting our emails, sign up because we are now on it. Dawn is on it. We are sending emails out. We are giving information. We got so many classes coming up. And starting February, we have the open studio, which is going to be fabulous. So just so much information. So make sure you're staying in touch with us. And I am not ever going to desert y'all. Well, I'm not going to say never because who knows what's going to happen. But I'm planning to be back regularly on my on YouTube and on Facebook because that's what you got to do. And I miss you all. I miss creating with you all. So I'm just trying to get my mojo back, you know, working on it. <laughs> doing my best, doing my best. So any questions, let us know. Um, Virginia, let me know about your question and message me with it or whatever so I can kind of know if I need to get something for it. And I can be prepared. And guys, we're just here having fun. So come see us. We would love it. Totally love it. Um, and yeah, the snow is melting. It's warming up. It's a little icky. But you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. Be ready for the t-shirts. It's fine. I'm fine. It's totally fine. I want, I'm going to, to want to see those in everybody. We have them from small to 2X, which I'm super stoked about. So, yay, my first t-shirt. 
Hey, dog, we need to talk about that today, too. Okay. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being with me. I so appreciate it. Let's go out there. Let's to be part of the solution. And let's not be part of the problem. Let's be the light. This world is so crazy and dark right now, y'all. It's just like, let's just go. Let's just love people well. Let's just love people well, okay? Let them look at us and think, what's going on with them? You know, we have crea we have we we were designed by the creator. Let's just go love people well. That's all I'm asking. Okay. I gotta get some new meds because I'm weepy. I never